This isn't a small submarine. This is an underwater drone called the Naviator. It can handle strong currents and deep depths. This is video from inside the Rutgers University pool. It was the first of its kind. The Naviator seamlessly transitions from air to water. So this has been used to examine a bridge in Philadelphia? Typically, when you inspect the bridge, you have to put humans in the water, and there's very strong currents. It could save lives in the, in the, in the yeah. future. It eliminates the need for a helicopter and a boat to perform the same task. Professor Javier Diaz says he's gotten inquiries from search and rescue agencies, the Coast Guard, the oil and gas industry, and environmental groups. In another Rutgers lab, Professor Onor Bilgin is working on a flapping wing drone. This is modeled after a great blue heron. He demonstrated a traditional drone to highlight the loud bee-like buzzing. Compared to his drone, which mimics nature and is much safer and can carry a heavier load. Flapping like a bird, because of the efficiency and the simplicity of the flapping motion, we can actually fly like a bird and then be efficient and uh, also produce less noise and produce less disturbance to the environment. And it can fly for much longer than traditional 30-minute helicopter drones. Bilgin received a grant from NASA to research how to use the smart material used on his flapping wing drone on passenger airplanes. The new synthetic smart material could make airplanes more fuel efficient and less noisy. At Rutgers University, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News.